the only video I watched from Kila. Mm hmm. Check holes. Toho picture? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Okay. okay, so everybody get in here. Yeah, everyone We're gonna be the, the Jerry. Aha, uh, jokes on you, I'm gonna vanish. Oh, really? Right now, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Yeah. Good Okay. I think the... Okay, Alex, you gonna join us? Okay. Spooky. Spooky. Don't you dare start. I'll sue. Plex you. <laughs> Let me grab some water. Yeah. Um, and or start. so. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Then we'll begin when Moo comes back. Yes. Yeah, I just had some orange juice. So. Mm. Mm. This is Mama Tipo. I need to tell you about. It's called Immortal Hounds. It's really good, and I think you'd like the idea of it. But I got that. Oh, welcome back. Hey, are you, are you talking to? Yitoko, I want to tell you about this manga that I found before. But, um, I think. Alright, continue. Are you recording? Uh, yes. Alright, cool. Oh, Mona me! And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now! <laughs> Am I gonna so be sad. her? Uh, yeah, you can be her. And, okay. Okay. To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Koizumi is in this room! Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I, I see can the attack of heavy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do anything. How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Everyone, do your best. Don't lose to yourselves, and don't forget to save regularly. <laughs> We can't say. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? Look at crazy if Nagita. If was luring <laughs> Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Hmm. Do you mean the letter? No, oh. it was probably the gummy. Hmm. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, Her when you woke up, was the gummy game? already there? <laughs> well, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Hmm. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? What if the killer thought? planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Hmm. Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Well, they went through the grating. Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm... I wonder... At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. Uh, here we go. Uh... I wanna play a new game. <laughs> Is that, uh, is that what you're thinking? If so, we prepared a perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called Logic Dive. Oh boy. Oh, uh, here we go. This actually <laughs> sounds fun to me. Uh, this is this is actually fun, to be honest. Oh, really? Sweet! Okay. During Logic Dive, you'll control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the Synapse Course. <laughs> Synapse Course. 
You can move sideways with the mouse and accelerate with the control key. Okay, so sideways. Okay. Press the right mouse to break and the left mouse to jump. Right, left. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Every various obstacles you will need to be relevant now. To make sure you're familiar with these controls, you reach the goal. Take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Now, also, upon reaching a certain point, there will be branching questions in the course. The answer is split into different paths, so please proceed down. Okay. Branching questions will appear several times in the course. Please be careful. Highly recommend you make good use of is going to be so relevant now. Oh, I'll post it after you finish this. Okay. <laughs> That's my <laughs> meddlesome advice to you. Okay, the break. Okay. Okay. Good luck and have fun. So basically... So basically, what this is, is just like, you're, you're going, so it's automatically pushing you straight, but it's yeah. like, you're just jumping over obstacles yeah. and stuff. Yeah, this basically so. seems a bit simpler. Okay. Yeah. She's right. That might be a very important problem. The killer tampered with the evidence after Hyoko ran away from the beach house. We need to kill arrive and depart from the beach house. Hmm. Think. I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer, as long as I can avoid Nagito's piercing glare. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it! Here we Ooh. go, logic, logic dive. Logic dive mode, engaged! Oh, whoa! It's like that old flash game. Snurf's up, dude! Games. Oh yeah, that flash game! Oh, uh, what was it, gravity jump or something? Yeah, it's like that basically. Surf's up, dude. Oh yeah, those those th those panels right there, they're like acceleration. So, oh, this is freaking sweet. Yeah, Sorry. they're thinking. Okay, I'll just. So, good thing they also brought this back later on. Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh, here we go. Question one. When did the killer, when did the the killer, killer um, after before Hyoko Riot or after Hyoko Riot? Uh, so after. basically you choose which side, you had to ride on which side it is. Okay. okay. Before. Before? Is it you're before? going towards, uh oh. You're, 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 you're reaching uh, okay. towards the end. Okay. Yay. Interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see how that goes. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. That could have been bad. Yeah, that could have yeah. been bad. Dude, somebody one of cool mask games is like, dude, this game's sweet. I'm gonna put this giant robot. <laughs> Let's post this on Dango Bomb. Uh, question two. Question two. Before you leave the beach house. Uh, before. Mm, that'd be before, yeah. Ah! Ah! Alright, so interesting. Three, okay. minute, three minutes remaining. Okay, after he'll pull that. Hmm, okay. So these do get a bit harder later on. Okay. Freaking sweet moves! I'm Hajime Hinata, and this is Jackass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he just runs into one of those things. <laughs> um, the beach house. I think it was the beach, beach house. house. I mean, she couldn't hide until on the beach, or they couldn't fit on the beach. They couldn't fit on the beach. And we're good. <laughs> Yay! Uh, okay, okay. They arrived at the beach house before Hyoko arrived. Okay, leave after Hyoko left. This is really Now really this meme is gonna be relevant. I am posting it right now. Okay. In okay, let's see. What is it? <laughs> when you guys know more, you forget the real scenario. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I remember you sent this to me! Oh, that's what <laughs> it means! Oh. I, I, I sent this to you two before, oh. and I was like, this is got, you will understand oh. once we once we play this. Oh my freaking god! <laughs> oh yeah, now it's all coming together. Oh, I get it now, it's all coming together now. Oh, I thought there would be like a whole morning place at the beach. I was so confused. Okay. It's all coming together! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's all coming together! Oh yeah, now it's all coming together. Okay, continue. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. I'm thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing! It's snowboarding thinking. <laughs> he just he just stood there imagining himself snowboarding. 
didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to just explain it in another language to right can every understand? Time you have to move? Uh, That's it, Hyoko's dead. She just screamed with us. <laughs> Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. <laughs> no, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hyoko. <laughs> what are you saying? Stop <coughs> being annoying or I'm gonna make a Kai bop you on the head and shut you up for good! I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to, I need to answer, by any means. The place where the killer was hiding. The place where Hyoko hasn't looked is... Oh, you're in the oh my god. In the closet! They were hiding Here. with Hyoko! Killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? Mm. And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Kyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. You know how the, there were wetsuits at the back of the closet, like hanging on coat hangers? I like imagining yep. that Son that's where Sonya got her wetsuit, and she was like hanging on the hanger in her wetsuit, like to the sky to float, so she was the Oh my god. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, hang hang rich lady. <laughs> hang hang like her. Yeah, see? <laughs> She's Hanged like... royalty, yes. Hanged royalty. So let me try to arrange the hiding place <laughs> in it, man. I can only think of one place that might be right uh, where the killer was. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. The killer hiding the closet was. Why do you suspect me? <laughs> You I kind of want to choose this, but I, they were probably hiding in one of the bags. Here! Yeah. Okay, it's Chase. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. <coughs> huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on, it was pretty messy, don't you think? Wait a minute. Okay, sorry, just thinking. Mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf, and there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place, because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy, I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? <laughs> They were quietly holding their breath and coming very close to you. <laughs> a, a body has been discovered. Oh wait, no, it's just yeah. Bodies have been discovered. It's kind of like in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. What? Don't you mean it's always darkest under the lighthouse? Oh, good thing. <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. That is such a powerful picture. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that as well. Yeah! <laughs> Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no. no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Oh. So do whatever you want, even if we didn't ask. <laughs> Alright, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> yeah. Oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. <laughs> Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always what? directing the flow of history. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. <laughs> As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Oh, freaking heck. Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. <laughs> Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. 
I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Oh, sorry. Purse message me. Give me a second. Freaky. I'll use a gun. Stop. Reloading. <laughs> okay. Cavern. Flexibility, huh? I've always wanted a flexible bear in my life. What about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done! Oh my god! Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. Oh. Intimidates Monokuma. <laughs> What's <laughs> wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. You intimidated Monokuma to admit what the killer didn't find the body with people. Wait, so the person that, whenever the announcement went off, it was Soda and. Was it Soda in the room? It was yeah. Soda? Yeah, Kazuichi. Yeah. And it played right before you got inside, I think. Yeah. Huh. So there's two. Huh. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, it's basically. Okay. I, th I think we know who the other person that saw the body is. Like, mm. that would be Hiyoko. Mm, yeah. So, there is, like, a third person. Huh. Anyway, let's continue. Okay. <laughs> You're the one who went on a tangent! Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And then and after Hyoko ran surfboard. away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. I just realized that I have a same, I have a mole on the same spot that uh, Mikan does. However, before <laughs> we proceed any further, there's something That's we hot. have to make clear. <laughs> The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Oh my god! I think Jun P was it? The, the hamster in most le like the most left hand of Gundam is doing the, the Buddha pose. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh block the door. Don't you mean now his that right you most shoulder? That mystery yeah, right. hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be alright. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Let's shoot words. Oh boy. Now then, I shall explain the final feature in non-stop debate. From this point, you will now be uh, you will now be able to use a truth flashback. You, if you hold a uh, shape, the reticle will change. Mark weak spot and keep it in that position. You, oh. Yeah. So it's basically like uh, a. Yes. Absorb bullet, yeah. You remember the answer to a lie or a mistake and you're able to keep bullets? Okay. Oh. You will not be able to agree with anyone using your truth flashback. Interesting. Okay. You have, you can shoot contradictions with them, but you cannot agree with them. Okay. Okay, that makes that a little bit easier for me than to work. Get fucked, Squirt. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> what did the killer do with the blood on their body? <laughs> Maybe yeah. they simply washed it off. They could the use the shower, you know, right? You sound like a damn bloodhound or so like a signature bloodhound. Been impossible. Hmm. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. Hmm. If they use something other than the shower, hmm. what did they do with the bloody wetsuit? <laughs> well, yeah, I think we know what this one is. Mm. As someone who flush. flushes their shit every morning, I can tell <laughs> it. it would definitely clog the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Got fired oh, up about the bathroom? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Hmm. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Hmm. Yeah, she got uh, she got 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 she they she got 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 what did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and- I didn't uh, flush it was definitely cluttered in the Maybe shower. Perhaps someone other than the killer- Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. Ha ha ha! No, that's wrong! Good deduction. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. They just no. needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. <clears throat> they could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? What should we see? It was drinks inside the refrigerator. I see! Well, a bunch. Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. Oh! In theory, then, that's impossible. Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there is no possible fight. way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. She's so attractive. She's about to whip you up with a sword. Sword <laughs> battle. <laughs> uh, trash it's a bamboo sword, but oh, she can still. <laughs> yeah. It's true, there were drinks. Oh my gosh, she's so fast! Oh yeah, this, 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 yeah, this is yeah, this is fast. Try thinking about one bottle. It okay. wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. I can't back down. Oh no 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 no! no. Okay. <laughs> He's using his uh, own. Just <laughs> one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no awesome. water bottles, and the, there were only okay. flavored drinks with colored dyes. If you use those okay, to wash the blood, will come off, and your body will get sticky. It will leak, especially if that alone would break his fishing. Could it be that first allegation was intended to lead out to this outcome? But I should have evidence to use against your argument now. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. There were only flavored drinks with colored dye. If you use those to wash blood off, the blood will come off and your body will get... It will leave an aromatic smell. Oh, wait, too. no, I should have used another other thing. Yeah, okay. Smells like degenerate. You think your soul can reach me? When, you, when your spirit is so weak? Crap! My no! My hogan! She just cuts off a piece of his hogan. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water that. bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those water! Nice <laughs> Silver chariot! You know, we're you fucked my damn boots, sir! You fucked! <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Ah, oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Do you like to drink them? Huh? You should have said so sooner! Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation! Hold on a sec. Oh, hey, Purse. Purse. Dango. 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 I hope you're having a great day. Uh, and you're coming over tomorrow, right? Morning? Huh? Well, oh, wait, are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I, I texted you, so... Okay, gotcha. I'll, I'll message you right back. But yeah, we're playing some Danganronpa. 
Oh wait, no, you did. Okay, oh, yeah, you responded. Yeah, yeah, no, no. yeah. Yeah, we're playing down the road, but just text me anything else, and I'll, I'll text you back. Okay. Yeah, I'm just show here what I do next. Okay. Yeah, we're playing some Danganronpa if you want to join in and watch. Solving some murders. Okay, let's continue. Ah, okay. Now that I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles... If, if they did that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. <laughs> See? Just as I thought. Hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask, who might that be? Ariel. If, <laughs> if the killer <laughs> used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them, th that killer, Mahiru's killer, must be that person. Me! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh no! Peko Peko Yama. You're the only one! Echo, is it you? Maybe. Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer! Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. It's pretty hot. <laughs> Why are you two here? Hey, aren't you pretty... You, aren't you in the killer? <laughs> <laughs> I just did a little swimming. Oh, okay. <laughs> if the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water There's to fully air towel house. <laughs> so you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Just stay silent! Say something! Hold on, you bastard! Oh my god, is Fuyuku protecting her? You saw her at the diner! You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming! Oh, wow. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So... So there's no doubt, she would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on, that's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? Wait. Ah, cool. Sorry. That's fine. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. It went straight back to the hotel. After I saw you guys, I didn't see anyone during that time. <sighs> you told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. <sighs> Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Oh, uh, what? What? Hmm? What is that? Oh, I said, why is he defending her all of a sudden? Because uh, she's the only one that um, reaches out to him. Um, yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. But where's your alibi? <laughs> the roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up for you, you know? You're not the suspect. Gecko is. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! Show me what you got! Oh. We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Peko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. The killer's escape route. I might know what it what it was. In fact, the only possible thing I can think of is that opening. A small window in the shower. I room. see. 
If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is... Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. Huh. Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? I'm what hang myself. The after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. Hmm. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist in this island with the bountiful nature of mutual prosperity. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No. They just have to use an object. Like her sword? Chiaki! Don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. Hmm. I see! You don't have to throw it away. You can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! <laughs> Oh, I just realized she's the same voice actor as, as um, as a, oh my god, I'm having a brain fart. Bunny, bunny girl behind her. Bunny. Monami, sorry. Even if the killer used an object to escape out of the window, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So the only thing I can think of is that the killer must have hit it somewhere. But that's the special place. <laughs> hmm. Focus and think. The object the killer used to escape out the window. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Mm. Well, I know what it is. I don't like it. There you go. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I know. I know, neutral. <sighs> I know. Oops. Oh, fine. Nice Do you need the boobs to bounce off the floor and into the window? <laughs> oh, actually, that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> Can you spell knife? <laughs> Bamboo knife. <laughs> Bamboo oh. knife. Uh, Bamboo D. But something tells. Hmm. Something's kind of peculiar. Uh, that collide. Yes. Oh, crap, darn it, wrong one. Okay. The triple D. <laughs> what about double D? Get oh, darn. Who said that? There you go. Oh, nice. Very nice. And the swarm. Oh, I'm just kidding. The swarm. The swarm. <laughs> the swarm. <laughs> the swarm. The swarm. swarm. Oh. 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 Heko, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then too. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Heko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. That's ultra sketch though. Uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! <laughs> Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily! 
Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Oh. Wow, just like a Japanese ninja. <laughs> Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, that's why she it just is a bamboo sword, but I, I think I'm sure it's going to draw like Pepper could easily use it to climb. No, it's because she specified a Japanese ninja instead of like as opposed to a Chinese ninja or an American ninja. And he's like, well, they only exist in Japan. Well, Peko, oh. do you have anything to say? Panic talk action. Keep PTA. Just... Oh. <laughs> Pan times. teacher association. <laughs> uh, time. Okay, yeah, okay. Moose getting a little bit right now. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, fever time. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my metabolism, mm. the equilibrium in my body is <laughs> negative. Yep. Negative time. <laughs> so yeah, this is like the part where it like doesn't show you the rhythm, uh, you know. Oh boy. Like so. Good luck. Thank you. I'm not gonna tell them, they'll have to redo the class draft for the chapter if they do that. <laughs> <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. Hold on a sec, you bastard! You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Hmm. No, she put Ooh, it in the sink. Why do you even <laughs> care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! He's such a good voice actor! If she used the bamboo sword as a step Does that make anybody stool, who's angry a good voice behind. actor? I guess so. Fuyuhiko, why? Why are you? Why are you so angry? Why are you not just doing? Because... Get on the dance it... floor! Got Is it because of your baby you. face? <laughs> That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! You should have infinite bullets, so yeah. Don't fuck with you know, me! You know, you know, Got proof, you bastard! Oh, I don't have to lock on anymore? Shut up! Shut up! Uh. Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! No, you still have to lock on. Oh yeah, bastard. I remembered, like, the last thing is, like, you have to put Got the phrase in the third yeah. together. So. You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! You better Master. keep up those moves, Fuyuhiko! No one's up there like, they're like, shut up, you The battle in the middle of the court. It's obviously impossible! It's the, yeah, I'm shut imagining they have like a disco battle. I was inspired by Mako Jackson! Dude, imagine, himself. imagine Teru Teru and Hajime having a disco battle in the middle of the court. Don't play with me! It's like Teru Teru is just like doing like a fucking spin. If she used the uh, bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left off. This is the end. Bamboo sword bag. Critical hit. <laughs> if she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword bag. You're a decent dancer, but not decent enough. Use her foot, yeah. When oh. she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. Mm. Boobies. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she <clears throat> would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. Oh! I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. But I she can't see because my eyes are closed. <laughs> Too. Akane said she's not like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. No, oh, you just back off! Is it true? <laughs> Hold on! 
You're just making assumptions. You, you don't have any proof. <clears throat> I won't accept this unless there's proof. Got it, you bastard. It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted it just now, right? She admitted it. she's Mahuru's killer, right? But is this right? Even though Fuyuhiko was the one arguing with us, Heko just admitted it so freely. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness, at least. I love that, I love that so much. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. It isn't her! Oh my god! Agree. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Oh my Maybe god! On one thing first. It was still fishy. Yeah, it was fishy. That's what I was thinking. Oh my god. It was... Can it wait until after the voting? This yeah, is like, important. that's and another raises another voting. question before it's you hit that button. Motive. Mm. My motive? <laughs> are, are you doing oh, that? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I, I thought you were just saying. What, what did you say? To like, me? why would she sully her hands with a bat when she has a sword? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess it's because like. Oh well, I mean, she pro probably doesn't want to show the blood on the sword. Yeah, yeah. Maybe who knows? That I mean, it's. Also, I think bamboo swords. They're not. Uh, they're the... relatively weaker than a yeah. bat, a metal yeah, bat. Yeah, what I'm thing. saying is, she's a swordswoman, not a. Mace woman. A bat is more along the lines of a blunt object, where a sword practice is used I mean, for cutting, not for bashing. I mean, not necessarily. If, if, you no. used, if you use a sword, people would be like, yeah, oh, there's a sword slash, then, then they would have. They... Swords have typically been used for slicing and slashing. And very and very rarely do you ever use the pummel. It's, I, I think yeah, we're it, this. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying. You have yeah, no I, I want to continue, please. You the events please. depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Oh, right. Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm, so it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question... I didn't kill Mahiru. I must say, it was for oh. the sake of justice. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Justice? In order yes. to... Protect the justice of this world. Chikugloko. You're kidding me. Don't. Oh my god. Huh? huh? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. You, you, what are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Did she attempt to kill Mahiru when somebody finished the job? Justice is the eternal sun, and the enduring moon, the protective father, and the smiling mother. Okay. Hello! Earth to Pekka! If justice ever disappeared from this world... She's... Oh my god, she's a serial murderer. The world would immediately freeze, and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It's it's fine. Just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. <laughs> I'm telling you to stop it. So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is could she be? As the light of justice shines upon my mask. I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. <laughs> Justice complete! Oh. Okay. Now, well, just, you'll, you'll understand more if we just continue. Yeah. Yeah. The crazy. center of justice that is Everybody's pierced crazy. by justice. No, you the lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling <laughs> justice! <laughs> now then, let's execute <laughs> justice! Oh, because they can't give her facial. <laughs> yeah. 
Because they can't what? They can't give they her can't facial expressions. Face <laughs> animation with the mask. So they put it oh. in the text. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Give me a second here, and then. I don't know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh. Okay, save me that. Okay. Oh oh my God. God. What are you doing? I'm I using a gun. am sparkling justice. In the what? name of sparkling, shining justice, <laughs> I have come <laughs> to deliver justice. <laughs> What's going on? What's this? Chill. Uh, uh, Pecco finally snapped! Everyone, please be careful! Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice! Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals! I mean, it's kind of intimidating, to be honest. It's kind of cool it's in a weird way. It's terrifying. It is. She is supposed to be. but. huh? An ally of. Justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask! Uh, this mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. <laughs> I don't get it, but, but this is becoming really crazy! What? What the heck is this? Who is the killer? Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events! I, I know! Hey. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. yes. More Mondo Butter. <laughs> Now's not the time for you to be sleeping! Take a look! It's a killer! Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you so hey, no, I can hide, you fucking dork. This again? Oh, yeah. Oh, huh? this? Sleep popping? So, what's your answer to my previous question? Why did you kill Mahiru? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. Yeah. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. I love her two times as much now. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is- If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because right. of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Wait, then what? The reason you killed oh. Mahiru was- To protect justice, of course. <laughs> I love her. I don't want her to die. This makes her so much better. In this order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword. She's a power ranger. And executed justice. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> Echo, is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my crazy. determination. <laughs> my determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. Your humanity? Okay, I'm Undertale. willing to become anybody to shower mm. this world with justice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> creepy eyes. Look, look at that. 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 Look at anymore! Let's just end this farce already! End it. He's right. This. We need to end this already. The killer, in the end, there's no mistake. It was Peko all along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. 
Okay. Closing argument. <laughs> My teeth. Ew. <laughs> Go to the dentist. <laughs> oh, no. This isn't what matches. Let's think about it one more time. Yeah, okay. you can read the hints for the question mark. Oh, oh right. Um, yeah. I'm wondering if they said Mahiru Med. Oh! Mahiru Med. What? That is when she arrives at the beach house. I see. They're, they're not at the beach house. Okay. Remember this Also, you can. So, yeah, they go to the other panel. So yeah, okay. just can't. Okay. In order to lower my okay. Now forge two letters. <laughs> Dual letters. <laughs> First one's arrived at the beach house. Where is Kyoko? Hey. The next one's arrived at the beach house. Where is Mahi? <gasps> I have a menu to my face, bitch! That's lemon flavored jelly. Mmm, where should I hide? Well, that's a big piece of evidence. Uh, in closet after Hyoka ran away, they took a drop of lemon flavored jelly. Um, there, there. Gotta get me the fuck up. Here's everything that happened in this case. Uh. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. No. <laughs> Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the mode. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Kyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation, and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they planned to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoka. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoka received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. 
she was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. <laughs> we can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Kyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window was rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. Yeah, he was ice cream. Their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Heko Peko Yama? I see. And what of it? <laughs> She's like... Yeah. Totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. But what are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice! <laughs> That's no yeah. reason to condemn me. Whatever! Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird crazy bitch! There's no way <laughs> you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? <laughs> to protect the community, <laughs> what are you, saying? you must be prepared to throw away Destroying something Gundam equally world there. important. Understand? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Then I shall be direct. 
Justice must carry on in order to keep justice, to keep me alive. You all must give up your lives. <laughs> Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice. <laughs> if I fall, it's youth. Who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all and save my life to protect justice. Hurry and carry on justice. Give me a break. Who's going to die for you? If we let Pecco go, we're all going to get killed. For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. <laughs> a few sacrifices? <laughs> Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. Okay. I can't stand her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her. Um, however, before we do that... Monokuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! I'm awake! <laughs> oh, yes, that's uh, right. Uh, 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 hey, uh, wait a minute, you're not awake. <laughs> I've heard your story. Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, the please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! Yoshi, Yoshi. Mm. <laughs> Pardon me, can oh. you please have a little more time? Oh, so no! You're the lady who? Um, pardon me, can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion? Something's still fishy here. But isn't the here. voting over? Yeah. Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Pecco is the killer. That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Pecco is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast. <laughs> Honestly, that's strange to me too. I mean... There's a distinct difference between what we know about Sparkling Justice and Petco, right? She's been brainwashed. A distinct difference? Mm. Oh, uh, sorry, go. Protect your mom. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Okay. Oh, wait, it's not her. You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice. <laughs> Sparkling juice. What the heck was that? Sparkling juice. Sparkling juice. She said her catchphrase wrong, huh? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? Uh, uh, didn't pick this said the catchphrase wrong? Yeah, she did. Uh, wait, 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 wanna read that out? I read it in a magazine in the library. You're the lady. There's only been number one person, a journalist, who's been interviewed for sparkling justice. The article was written in their native language, so, so I tried translating it. I see. So that's what it was. Bitch. I think I've got the difference between the seal killer and Pekka. Nationality. I see! A hoge. That's right. They're a hoge. I what Sonia said. The article was written in their native language, 
so I tried to translate it. Wow, hoist. If she had to translate it, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? Oh yes, man, you mean the Japanese? The magazine I read was written in Spanish. <laughs> so, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both from Spain? <laughs> what? <laughs> All this what? time, I completely misunderstood when I first heard about the serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkly Justice, as they're both serial, serial killers from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so... Heko, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. Or, if you insist that you're Sparkling Justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Would you be able to do that? <laughs> it appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Uh huh? Looks like she's back to normal? That mask Normality. has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Huh? Hey, be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was. I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool? What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean... Besides Pekko and Hyoko, no. someone else was also at the house. Huh? Oh, oh, you're gonna have hey. to go. Oh. What did you say, Alex? I didn't hear you. Oh, my grandpa was talking to me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. It's like, it's it's like there's one person in the front. Why did you tell me? I see! Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? <laughs> so, who, so, you, you know, fake people, including the killer, or not, you know, fake body, yes? That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular that. case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That still leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, that's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Well, therefore... That person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? She wanted to commit suicide. Huh. Um. Could it have been? Wait, wait, what? Think about it. Think about the game that the okay. Twilight Medicine Joe. Like, we already discussed who the characters were, but. Okay. 
who has the strongest motives to in order to kill uh, in in which to kill my hero for I mean that would be you know Kiko. Because Yeah, what about it? It'd be free. It's me. <laughs> it would be free. Oh, yeah, you have a minute, fucker. <laughs> okay. Um You're the only one. Oh, what? Is it for you, Hiko? I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? No. The events that occurred in the game have definitely occurred in real life. There's overwhelming proof of that too. I can prove it with this! I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but... There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first received the ending prize. Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? I do. Like it was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? Oh my god. If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Because Paco is the killer, right? But we already voted! That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tree. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? It means I'm not the killer. Oh. The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? What? I see. That's Give what you were aiming for all along. No, uh, dang. I have no aim. Uh, what a twist! But my young master does. <gasps> My young master planned this from the start. Young master? What? I think we'll take a show now. Oh, okay. Bye bye. Here. That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! H how would Paco be a tool in the first place? Paco is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What? Hundred that is that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mean. <laughs> That's probably that first sword fight we did. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, I'm in a bind.
behind, and what a bind it is. Ooh. I guess for now, <laughs> let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Huh? Huh? What? Hmm. <laughs> Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiro Koizomi is... Hold on a sec. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'll wait. So sorry, I'm just hesitating. Hey! It, there's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, it peggles the killer! <laughs> Why? Hey, hey! Why? <sighs> well, that's obvious. You're not tall, you're a freaking human being. Well... If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. Because you just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself only exist to be tools? Hey. What does she mean for you, Hiko? <laughs> Echo and I grew up together. Um. Are you childhood friends? No. No. It's completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Cruiserio clan took me in. I am nothing but a tool. They gave me reason to exist and to fulfill my duty as my young master. Uh, keep going, I'll be right back. Okay. What? Property, you say? It means she's a hitman, ranged by my clan to work directly under me. Oh my god. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is my only reason for living. Oh! Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is... But that is... You're wrong. You're not a tool, Pico. Because... If you're a tool, the was all, all that time we spent together. Nothing. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. Wha Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend! This is why you are hiding your relationship? No. It's not as if that started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household's power. He even hates me. The tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahir wasn't you, it was Fuyuhiko? Damn it! It is, it is what it is. When I thought that I beat that game, I suddenly given these photographs. Damn it! I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me! And she's she's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know? If my sister is dead! You... You... tried to confirm it with Mahiru. And that's why you wanted to talk to her. So... Yeah. I sent her the photo 
because I wanted to make sure she respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But I'm pretty sure Lina was confused too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know the incident had happened. That's why, even if we were told that we were connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um. Um. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know? What? Oh, oh, hey, Alex, can you get your bookie? Your bookie? Yeah. Alright. You know, when my hero spoke to your bookie, she made us something about this. <laughs> Ah, oh, sorry. I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my my! Wait, huh? You're not gonna go, my hero? If you wanna talk about it there, I'd be- I'd- it'd be totally fine. Hmm... Um... It's pretty important, so, you know, it'd be tr troubling to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... Serious or not. I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I wanted someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Yoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. I should have gone too, but... Oh, but it was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, Fuyihiko? If you could make, if you could make use of their plan to meet with each other alone, you could easily lure Mahiru into a trap, right? Hey! By calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoko. What the? Seriously? Oh, yeah. What the heck? An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. The reason that happened was because of some person here. Damn it! I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... And so, my young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use a bat as the murder weapon because in the game, that was used to kill girl E. For revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that is why you killed my hero with the bat? Yeah. But still, I believed her up to the very last minute. That the game was just a work of fiction. But even so, that bitch. Hey. Hey, that game is actually real. Are you the one who killed girl E? Why, you? Hey, I don't want to hear about that. But... The, the fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but... Why? You shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up! Who, who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is just wrong! Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over my hero, I was still trying to find an excuse to not go through with the plan. Yeah. But after she said that to me, that all went down out the window. Get really pissed off and grab the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment, <laughs> young master called for me and made me kill Mahiru. Huh? Huh? 
Young master, I am finished. Uh, what? You, you're, are you saying that you killed because you were ordered to? <laughs> A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Of course! Well, of course you don't understand. Because humans are completely different from one, one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. Hmm. So everyone just pretends to understand and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. <laughs> You're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed. Okie dokie, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Afterwards, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be! He insists that you respect make his his or hers. Mm, so... We fell for it! We fell for her trick all along! <laughs> That's right. You guys made the wrong decision. You voted me, a mere tool, as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously wrong! Uh... Hold on! Don't act like your loss has been decided yet! No. No. It should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling! I'll admit, all this talk about Kako being a tool sounds pretty persuasive! I'm back. But, oh, okay. Um, I'm when you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. <laughs> hold on! I'm telling you to hold on! I see. I see. So, Kako, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope then? On his behalf, you killed Mahiru, and now you're trying to sacrifice us so they can protect him. Great! You would only go that far because he is your one and only hope. Wrong. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just <laughs> a tool. <sighs> well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then! So I'm gonna ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? Hey. Is Peko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Peko and the rest of us? <laughs> Is that your hope? What? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What's the use of asking something like that? What? Huh? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Peko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Hey. Fuyuhiko, can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf. The fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer. Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? Huh? I... I... Um... Fuyuhiko? Yeah. I know you hate our guts, but huh? if you listen to Pekko, we're all gonna die. Uh, I, I, I. Uh. Young master. Young master, you just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them. Right? I. I. Uh, Fuyuhiko, you mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakuya, Terra Terra, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by 
affection when it's my time to kill. You, you're just saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? <laughs> young Master! There, there's no need to hesitate, Young Master. Please just tell them the truth. Young Master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I'm a tool. Here you go. This could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way you'll still lose Pekko, but... Hey! If you insist you're the killer, just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Pekko and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say! Damn it! I... I... Young Master, I am finished. Let you? Uh, it's what lagging. What the hell did you do? Hmm? Neutral, it's lagging. Oh, okay. It's still stuck in... <laughs> one scene, no dialogue at all. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You. The hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Yeah. Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master. That is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am... my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it! we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying?! Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then... why did you...? I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about it, Fuyuhiko? Please, tell me the truth. Sorry. I'm sorry, Pekko. I guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Young Master! Y young Master? I'm a disgrace. Because if that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. It means I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted with myself. Pekko. And if I admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool given to me by the Kuzuryu clan. Young Master! Young Master? Oh! Oh! 
Oh my! Oh shit. <laughs> I almost did Moose take on it. Oh, okay. uh, I can't do it. <laughs> oh my. So, this is how it turned out. Too bad! And here I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, you know, disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. Who are you? There's no way a human that meddlesome, meddlesome, meddlesome could ever be considered a tool of metal. Hey, Matakuma, you knew all along, didn't you? You knew about the, what Peko and Fuyuki discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have some pain together. You were just having fun, huh? Even if it was an act of depression, desperation, Peko's claim was surprising interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. <laughs> Not too bad. You're definitely the killer. And Peko, the tool with a heart, is the killer. <sighs> Sorry. Peko! I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me the chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Huh? Young Master! Young Master, you have a kind heart despite being a Yakuza. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself. I believed you wouldn't accept it that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even the tool wouldn't understand that. What? Then, then, then why? Even so. Even so. I wanted you to escape. I wanted you to escape. I wanted to protect you. Pekko. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and I'm sorry for what I've done to you all, too. I may be a, it may be a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. Of course. Tiaki's yeah, out of the case. <laughs> <laughs> that will do, Monokuma. Why don't you start it already? I will never <laughs> feel despair. Just so you know, I will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to die. So cool! <laughs> so good! But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act as proud as you will always shed tears of despair in the end. Now then, let's begin. <sighs> hmm. Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So, didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Pekoyama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. Many times do you have to keep I don't need any tools? You did say that. Then <laughs> let's begin with the punishment time bringing with despair. Jeez. Why don't you get it yet? Thrills, chills, kill! For the ultimate swordsman, Peku Pekuyama. Why? You stayed by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. For you. I. Sorry. I never needed a sword or a shield. I never needed a tool. So. Avoid saying this, it's gonna be great. You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just 
You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! Please, Echo. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Young Master? Young Master? Crank time. <laughs> Let's oh. get it. Keep over. Oh, get over here. Yep. Surprise too. Like dominoes. Pizza. You, you bastard! What is this? This can't be. This is a lie, right? Pico! Mihiko! Such a waste. For heaven's sake, this is just the worst. Jeez, what a waste. This conclusion, what a waste. This is why she should have been just disgusted with me. Damn it! Must be a clash between two hopes, but it was a crush into something. I mean, I like You... You're still talking about that. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what yeah. Mm. Uh, the heck is wrong with you? You're... You're hard you pissed that uh, your two friends got killed? Such despair! I'm... I'm angry. And I feel sad and hopeless. But still... Isn't that right? Is it going to be all right? This despair is worthless. <laughs> Even this despair is just a ladder to the bright, shining future that awaits us. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. That is unmistakable truth. <laughs> Calling me a ladder, huh? You say some pretty interesting things. <laughs> In a way, your misguided thoughts of hope should be reminded. Remind me of him. <gasps> I don't really understand what you're saying. Listen carefully. <laughs> Hokey powers. Anyways, I shall make a declaration. We will definitely destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> the hopes of all the ultimates here will definitely, completely, utterly destroy you. There won't be even be a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even for you, Hiko died, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> if she's this. Not yet! He's still alive! What? What? Everyone! Oh. Fuyuhiko 
is still alive. Are you serious? Are you? Fuyuhiko! Tragically, we rushed over to Fuyuhiko's side. Is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! I I'm trying! But his blood, he won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm... I guess I'll do it. Him right. You're so stupid. Were you filled with hope at the thought of saving her yourself? That's why you ended up like that. You stupid brother. What are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him. I don't believe uh, it. A surprise order. What the heck? Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? Wrong. It's your duty to save him. Again, huh? oh, what about I have a duty. Hey, hey. Cause it's written in the school trip rules. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. alone gets you. <laughs> if only the Blacken gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed. <laughs> Well, if I could, I would do something about it right now! But since my magic stick has been taken away, I'm practically powerless! Hey, hey! But you, you should be able to do it! Unbelievable. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. Fine, fine! Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So... Fine then, I'll save him. Really? Like... Hey, I was gonna actually... I'm actually gonna do that all along, so I've already prepared for this. Hmm? Prepared? And that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere. And Bring in the amber lamps! Closer and closer. Uh, oh, uh, an and ambulance? Am ambulance. Amber lamps. Just leave the rest to me! That was Dr. me! Kill good! Huh? That was me. Dr. Kilgood, you've already killed your patients! We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! See you, nerds. You got the time to actually save. I'm gonna come actually save somebody. Uh -huh. And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Poof. Oh. Is he really gonna be okay to leave us to Monokuma? Damn it. <laughs> it can't be helped. It's like the, there isn't, was any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine. He's probably gonna get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. You're right. He's definitely gonna come back and talk a lot of smack as if, as if nothing happened. Hmm. Then, all we can do is wait. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait. Oh, right. What the hell? Sorry, keep me forgetting. <laughs> there you go, if you want to. I mean, no, no, we can no, do no, is off, we can do. No, okay. no, 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 no. Oh, God. Why do we have to wait for him? <laughs> I mean, he caused my hero's death, you know. However... However, we must put that aside since Pekko has already been punished. Or else we're not able to, to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way than to move forward. Like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> D damn it! I guess. Okay, yes. These aren't as exciting. 
if the poopy stir stir like him ain't around. I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Fuyuhiko! I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. Blood for the blood gut. <laughs> blood so, for the blood gut. The class trial ended. But we still Go can't the see the real ending that we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even a speck. As if we were in a boat, floating unreliably in a vast, dark sea. We were just left there, alone. Only one word could explain our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. <laughs> boop. Boop, boop. Oh. Ah. Oh. Fifteen days left. Mm. Fifteen seconds remaining. <laughs> and then boom. You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown too? Four people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. I'm and sorry, what? The continuation what? of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. No. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. That doesn't sound good either. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Oh god, she's becoming a little menacing. What the shit? See punishment, sins, and coconuts. Coconut. Twelve stars. Dango bongo. Mm. Nice. Tastes like bubble gum. Five boys, five girls. <laughs> Black dragon blade. Okay. And we stop here. You're right, neutral. <laughs> I think he lost one of his favorite. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. There's always dojins and fan stuff that continue the story, plus, like, you know, other games, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, plus, we have to finish the game to see what really happens, I, so. I, I exited the application while the screen was still black. Do you think it successfully saved? Uh, uh, no, it's, yeah, it's saved. It definitely saved. Don't worry well, if it didn't, you could always play through.